Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to find out if advertising on your car is worth it or not. Let's get into it. The clips in this video have been um, recorded over the course of a month. So they're from all different times before and after um, putting the advertisement on my car, uh, my review of how I went about doing it and how effective it was. So enjoy the show. Do you guys ever get like a desperate urge to just clean every single thing in your space because you're looking for one thing and then you can't find it and you just want to organize every single thing and your brain can't function? Like that's my brain right now. I'm trying to find something. It's a paint marker that I know I bought. I know I bought it. I'm not going crazy. I know I bought it, but I don't know where it is. And I bought it months ago and I've checked all the places that I think it would be but it's not there. So now I literally wanna take every single thing out of every single spot and clean it. Plus like I noticed that all of my shelves are like dusty. So I like wanna take everything off and dust it. And, like, but I know once I start, I won't be able to stop and I'm gonna make a huge mess before I can clean the mess. And does anybody else ever feel that way? <laughs> I know I've already done, uh, I think two parts in the organization did I do only one? No, I only did one in the cleaning organization, which was the book, my bookcase uh, for my sewing um, supplies. And I definitely love that. That helped me a lot. But even since then, things have gotten a little messy, but it has been better to upkeep. And like, this isn't done. And then like on my cube organizer that like, it has fabric and paper crafting stuff. And then I have Alex drawers that have um, paper crafting. And then I also have uh, oh, and it has paper crafting and like vinyl and so like Cricut stuff. And then I also have my cart under my, um, not this cart that holds my Cricut, but my cart that has drawers in it that is for my printer. So like, and that has embroidery, it has different hardware, which the hardware should be in that bucket of all the hardware. My brain just feels so scattered, but I feel like if I start on one thing, then I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna be able to finish it. You know what I mean? Like I'm just gonna make like an even bigger mess and like it makes me wanna purge, but then I don't wanna purge because I love my stash and I'm very grateful for my stash and I've worked hard to either thrift or purchase the items that I have acquired. So like I'm very grateful and I am materialistic in a way. I'm definitely not a minimalist person. Uh, I'm a hoarder. I love having things. Having this stash of fabric makes me feel so complete inside. I love it. but. Anyways, I don't know where I'm going with this. I just had a rant and I think I'm gonna show you guys some organization. That's my plan. I want like, and I also love like a before and after. Oh, I love it. So like, I love sharing that with you guys too, but I don't know if I can get to the before to the after, you know what I mean? If I can get to the after, uh, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you feel that way in the comments down below. See what I mean? Like in my cube organizer, I have like, um, paper pads here. I have paper pads here. I have these N95 masks that I got at the beginning of COVID and I've never used them. They're brand new. I just don't have the packaging. I also have more scrapbook paper here. So just multiple things, multiple places, and it makes my brain feel very scattered. I have fabric here. There shouldn't be any fabric over here. Oh. Guess what? I manifested and thought about where did past Samantha put this freaking marker? Where is it? And guess what? I thought about it and I was like, hmm, maybe it's in this spot. And I found it. I'm not crazy. I know I did buy it. It put it with my big Sharpies from when I made my posters and it's right here. So now I can go mark up my car and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Before and after. That was actually much more difficult than I thought. I did this twice because the first time I was just trying to like use the marker and then I had to do it with like two hands squeezing the paint out. But this is the Thursday before Labor Day. Let's see how fast I'll get some more subs. Uh, I am going on a road trip, so hopefully this will get lots of people to sign up. And then I also have this QR which uh, goes on the side of my car. So if I'm parked, then someone could just scan my YouTube. It's a magnet. So cool. 
it is now the end of September and I put a car advertisement on the beginning of September. I've gone out of the state twice. Now, Monday through Friday, I work from home, so my car doesn't leave the driveway that much. So really the only driving around is on the weekends and I didn't like intentionally drive somewhere just for the sole purpose of having my car be seen. So with all that being said, on YouTube, I can't tell you exactly, it doesn't exactly tell you where you get a new sub from, but I can show you like the graph of the trend and then it I can pinpoint every single day. So when I was talking about going on a road trip Labor Day weekend, so the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, um, my subscriber count, new subscriber count was 23322. So not great, not terrible, pretty average to normal. So I'm willing to bet that the car did nothing and that it was just subscribers from organic growth of my videos. Uh, I do not know. And then last weekend, the biggest spike was on Saturday of eight subscribers in one day and then Sunday, three subscribers. And uh, two funny stories on that. So uh, one, like in the middle of the month, I was at the gas station and I was pumping gas and the guy comes up to me, he's like, are you Samantha? And I was like, yeah, why? And he was like, so you make YouTube videos? And I was like, oh, like I completely forgot that this thing was on the back of my car because it's already been on there for like two weeks. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were like, he's like, so you make sewing videos? And like, we were talking about it. And, but it like creeped me out at first. I'm like, how does this guy know my name? My own fault, I put my own name on my car. But um, second story, so on Saturday night, um, uh, outside, like late night, Saturday, uh, outside a hotel, like under the awning thing or whatever, um, I was in the passenger seat and my boyfriend was in the driver's seat and we're sitting there and he opens the door and he's like, uh, subscribe to her YouTube channel. And I was like, stop, like, what are you doing? Cause I thought he was just like yelling at some person in the drive, like in the, parking lot and then he's like no there's some kids like right behind us and so like I look back and there's these three teenagers um like looking at the back of my car and then they all subscribed and, like I opened the door I was like there's a QR on this side and they're like were you all subscribed like good luck you're so close you're almost there and like I was having a really bad day on Saturday so like you don't know what's going on in somebody else's life that like that little thing like made my day i mean my boyfriend's a good wingman of course and then those guys uh like subscribing and i bet you they don't watch sewing um i don't even know if they're ever gonna watch this video but if you do watch this video thank you to the three guys that subscribe to my youtube channel at like 10 o'clock at night i appreciate it uh it made my day um it was a very kind act that cost nothing um so my future thoughts on uh, advertising on the car and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna leave the paint on until either a thousand or Thanksgiving. I don't know, whichever comes first. Um, and then you just take it off with Windex. I don't know if I'm gonna write something new on it or what I really think would be impactful is to have just a QR with no words. And the QR takes you to YouTube or it could take you to my beacons, which is like my overall like link tree page. Um, because I, I don't have a website. I'm, I The only website I have is Etsy because, well, we've talked about this in the other videos. So I'm not going to go on a rant about that. But um, I think it would be really impactful to just have a QR with no words because then people are like, what is it? Like, I want to check out what it is. The only downside is that it's only impactful like if you're parked. If you're driving, it's not really safe. It's not really a good idea. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you saw a QR with no words, would you scan it to find out what it is? Um, I think that people would. I know I have before. I've seen QRs with no words and then scanned it. Um, and that being said, like for not knowing if it was impactful or not. So I know I at least got three new subscribers from my car. Other than that, I have no idea if any of the new subscribers from this month are from the paint marker. However, the paint marker only cost me four bucks and it took me like 10 minutes to put it on my car. And like I said, it's, it was like free advertising for lack of a better word. Um, so I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I would do it again. I don't know if I would write the same thing. I think I would be, so like I had four lines of words that I wanted to write and like the fourth line was like free sewing content, but then like I had it written on a piece of paper so I knew how to space it out on the car, but then like the height was not as high as I thought it was gonna be to make it legible from far away. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I do it again and it is still on my car. I'll show like a before and after um, It's rained um, now w Using the back windshield thing that does screw it up. Uh, I think like the the rubbing on it the um, 
friction messes it up so i have not used like the back swinging thing all but like one time on accident so it has held up very well uh with the rain so i've liked that it, that's worked out very well hopefully when i go to take it off like in the next three four weeks from now it won't like leave a ghost mark that would be annoying but i don't know we'll see what happens let me know what your opinion is in the comments down below please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day